Today I'm going to break down the numbers on this four unit apartment building. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I work one-on-one -on -one with people like you. Today, we are working with Paula. Paula, you sent me this quad, and I've actually got quite a bit of experience with this particular quad, right? I got some inside knowledge. Inside knowledge, folks, that's what you get when you work with an industry leader, right? I've sold more of this kind of stuff than anybody else in the world. $200 million worth of this stuff. You find somebody else. Who sold over $200 million worth of Cleveland rental real estate like this? I'd like to shake their hand. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't because they don't exist because I'm the number one guy, folks. It just is what it is. That's why people work with me, right? That's why you work with the people at the top of their field. They know what's going on. And with this particular property, Paul, you want to know the situation. And I've actually looked at this more than once. I've looked at it twice. And I'm going to show you clips from both of those analysis videos, right? Little inside info here. All right. First go around, you're going to get to see all that info. Then the second go around uh, was very recently. My client uh, wanted some information on what's going on with this particular property because it's now back on the market available and it's more expensive than it used to be. So I gave him all the information from the first time and then I gave him all the current information, which I'm about to give you, and then the guy just disappeared. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. That's what happens in the real estate industry. Like you and I, we had just discussed in one of your previous videos, we're dealing with a seller who disappears, right? That is part of the real estate game, folks. Uh, people ask you questions and everybody gets gung-ho, wants to do a deal, and then sometimes there's just a segment of the population that will, in fact, ghost you, right? So, Paula, you've seen what happens when a seller ghosts you, and because uh, my last buyer happened to ghost me, uh, you may get to benefit from that and have the opportunity to take this deal down. So I will leave you with all of the aforementioned footage now. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. 3926 Woodbridge, Cleveland, 4419. Hit the market 12 days ago, $150,000, bro. Quad, love quads. And this is just like your, you know, normal rental, like nothing super special about this other than it's priced really well and it's going to work really well for the financing. They got like neutral decor, nothing like super amazing high-end fancy. It's, you know, got some lower income tenants in there, but there's some serious meat left on the bone here because the, the mom and pop landlord is running this thing. They're renting their units way too cheap, man. So you got some like... Good uh, long-term meat on the bone. Uh, you know, things are looking good for you in the long term, I guess is what I'm trying to say with this one, right? Just cruise through here. You see all the mechanicals. I like this picture they got. Sweet shot of, like, this lame-ass <laughs> shower curtain in this dude's arm. I have no idea why they would have been uh, included <laughs> this picture. <laughs> ah, good for them. Oh, man, this is kind of a bummer. They had a bigger, uh, a bigger vanity and they just replace it with a smaller vanity but they never fix up the wall god damn man you can you get this with mom and pop landlords bro amateur hour dude either a fix the wall or b get a new vanity that's bigger than the old one was uh but that's okay right you know that's what happens right not every landlord is an extreme professional, and reasons like that are why this dude is getting such a low rent roll compared to what he could be right as far as the rent roll goes bro Two of those units are studios. He's renting those at 300 a pop. Now, market rent, right? So if Holton Weiss is running this and uh, we're doing the unit turns, we'd be going for 450 on those studios, right? As far as the 2-1, he's renting it at 6. That's cheap. It should be two, it should be 750. And then the 116, that should be 650. So currently he's bringing in 18 a month, 21,600 a year. Of that 21,600 a year, Counting for your fixed and variable expenses, I think you should get a net 
Operating income average for the year of 9,946.68. That's all for the current numbers. As far as price goes, I think we could work them down a little bit, right? I think we could offer 140 and get it locked up for 140. At least that'd be my hope, right? I think that would be good. If you got to pay like 143, 144, 145, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I think 140 should be our target. That means you're only going to have to put down 35 of your 65K. So you'll still have another $30,000 to play with in this market. Bank alone, you 105. This is why I love quads. This thing should project out to a 13 2 cash on cash return or a 7 1 cap. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. All right, Jeff, welcome back. So that's what I thought at that time, right? I was thinking we could probably squeeze this thing out for 140K. I don't really think that's going to be doable at this point, right? He now wants to get uh, 169 for it. Let me switch this over so we can see this. Yeah, he's trying to get 169 for it. And he's pro you're probably going to have to give it to him, bro. It doesn't look like he was willing to sell back then for the lower price, and he has done a little bit more work, right? The listing agent went ahead and discussed all of the work he's done to it since that analysis, right? So uh, let me go ahead and just uh, read it all to you from the listing agent. Updates in the last six months include but not limited to Replaced all supplies and drains in the basement, including new water meters per unit, a new water tank for unit two, new furnaces for unit three and four, uh, new smoke and carbon monoxide detectors throughout. Uh, he did a laminate install, lighting, bathroom sink, faucet, medicine cabinet, shower assembly, all that jazz. So he did the bathroom, right, in unit one. In Unit 2, he did some paint, uh, just more cosmetic stuff. There's some of that in the pictures. I'll go to that in a second. Uh, you know, did the kitchen faucet and fixed the drain and crap. Uh, unit 3, he did uh, laminate throughout, and uh, he did a little bit of bath and kitchen remodel. And then Unit 4, he did more cosmetic upgrades, all right? So they're saying the market rent potential here is 2100 I don't believe so, as I mentioned previously. Uh, what I believe the market rent is going to be a few hundred dollars shorter than that. The little fixtures and updates he made does not really change uh, the market rent here. Okay, so is the unit in better condition than it was previously? Yeah, like as you could see, right? He, he, you know, he he put lipstick on it. He cosmetically fixed it up. All right, does that? Make it worth $30,000 more than at that time? Yes and no, right? Um, you know, I guess what it's really going to be worth is what someone's willing to pay and what someone's willing to accept. Uh, he wasn't willing to accept the low offer uh, before, right? So the 140 he wasn't down to take that, right? So it would have been great if we can get it at 140 uh, but it doesn't look like that's possible anymore at this point in time, right? He's going to want a little bit more. He wants 170 So it's up to you how much you want to offer. I could offer whatever you like. Uh, I can almost guarantee you, though, that if we offer 140 he ain't going to take it. Now, if you pay 169 which is what he's asking for, is it still a pretty good deal? Yeah, I think so, but uh, you got to understand, my thoughts are the same. It is, like, not the most amazing uh, quad, there's not the most amazing craftsmanship in this, right? Some cosmetic repairs, but it's it's nothing like amazing, right? But that's also why it's still super cheap, right? I believe I sent another quad to you, Jeff, where the, the price point, much nicer property. If I had my choice between owning uh, this one or that one, well, I'd probably want to own both. But if I could only own one, I'd probably pick that one up, even though it's two and a quarter, right? It's just a better property. Uh, however, it's next to impossible to pick up a quad in the Cleveland market for this price point, 169 which is what I believe uh, is going to be the seller's minimum price point. But it is up to you. I will make the offer uh, at whatever number you prefer. But again, my previous thoughts of 140 it's probably not going to happen, dog. So it's up to you. You tell me what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.